Hey guys, it's Ms. Naylor. Um, we're going to start tonight on Noodle Tools, so go to noodletools.com and sign in. That'll take you to your projects page. You're also going to need your reference packet, so make sure that you have that. Then we're going to actually start on the page that's labeled Online Database, so please turn to that page. It's handwritten at the top of the page. So now you've got everything that you need all ready to roll. Um, you're in My Projects, and we're going to click on our John Steinbeck project. And that takes us to our dashboard, right? Once we're in our dashboard, we're going to want to click on Bibliography. And here, we're going to be making a citation, so where it says select a citation type. Yet again, we're just going to click down. We're going to look for where it says database, and we're going to click on that and click Create a Citation. Now the first thing that it's going to ask us once we create our citation, since we're using a database, remember a database has a lot of different information inside of it, taken from different sources, um, and you pay to be a member and to go in and access what's already been curated for you, what's already been chosen and pulled out for you. So we have to decide what kind of information, we're, what kind of source we're citing from the database. Is it a journal, a magazine, or a newspaper? Those are all periodicals. Is it an anthology, a book, a reference source? Or is it a film video recording, a photo, a television, a clip art, work of visual art? Sometimes we'll use original content. That doesn't apply to what we're doing today, though. Now, looking at this page, I'm trying to figure out what kind of source is this taken from. It says, Contemporary Literary Criticism Select is my source. Um, if you look at the top of the page, uh, it doesn't give me a whole lot of information. But I do know it's not like a newspaper article, just from reading it. Um, it talks about biographical principle writings, all those kinds of things. And it's not like it's a book I would sit down and just read. Um, so I can make an educated guess here. And the educated guess I'm going to make looking here, I know it's not a periodical. Um, as far as I can tell, it's not a, it, I know it's not a book. I wouldn't just sit down and read it. It doesn't seem to be an anthology or collection from anything I can tell. Neither of those words are showing up. And it's definitely not audio, video, or image. So um, I'm going to go with reference source. And what that gives me is this page that I get to fill out. Yay! So the first thing we're going to find is right here, the name of the database. Now, looking at this page at the top on the left right here, it says Literature Resource Center Print. So I've printed this off of the Literature Resource Center. Um, I also have a, another hint over here actually in the sourcing. It says from Literature Resource Center. So I can make an educated guess here as well. Actually, I know for a fact that um, my database was Literature Resource Center that's part of Gale, the Gale. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to go ahead and click on here and type in Literature Re Oh, and look, there it pops up, Literature Resource Center. We talked about this before. We're actually looking at a printout of something that someone else pulled for us. We're not looking at um, we're not looking at that, this site live online right now. So we're going to make this date the same as what's printed on that page. It says October 25th, 2010. Okay. And now I have to fill in my URL. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to look at the bottom of my page. I want you to find the website, the URL, at the bottom of that sheet of paper. Put your finger on it right now. I'm going to make an educated guess about what you think we'll actually type in the URL based on what we've talked about before. We're not going to put in that full, long, huge website or web page because we're not putting just that specific page on. We're just worried about making sure our reader knows what the site is that we use, what website, not the specific page within the site that we were on. So I'm going to put http colon backslash backslash go dot gale group dot com. And that's all I have to put. That way my reader knows where I'm getting my information from. So I scroll down a little bit and I look at what I need next. It has a It's asking me questions about the article itself. So let's take a look at our packet. Looking here, it doesn't actually list an author for us. So let's take a look at what we would do there. What we've learned so far is that if there's no one listed, if there's something, some piece of information that we don't have, we just don't put it, okay? So you'll see, it has a, a place for us to enter different roles, but we don't have any names, so we just leave that completely blank. What we need to find right now is the article or entry title. 
So let me just try and find the article or entry title right now. If you're looking right here, what you'll find is that the article title is very clearly marked. You highlighted it, you were supposed to put air quotes around, or you're supposed to put quotation marks around it when we highlighted. So I hope that you did that, and we're going to fill that in, John Ernst Steinbeck, as our title. So here I am in Noodle Tools. I'm entering John Ernst. Whoop, there we go. Steinbeck, just exactly like it looks. Now, based on the fact that I only have the one entry that I'm looking at available to me when I'm on the database, I don't really have any idea if these entries were alphabetically arranged, so I can leave that blank. I also don't have any page numbers if you look. Um, it doesn't actually give me the pages from the reading uh, that I'm using, so that's another thing I can leave blank. So I'm going to scroll on down to reference source, right? And I need to figure out what I can answer here. The first question it asks is contributors to the reference source as a whole. So let's take a look and see if we can find that anywhere. You'll notice up here in this information, it really doesn't tell us. Um, it tells us a little bit about uh, who Steinbeck was, where this information comes from, what type of, type of document we're using, what our copyright is. It doesn't actually tell us um, who wrote it. So I get to leave that blank. My type of reference source is an encyclopedia, okay? It's not an atlas or a dictionary, and I can pretty much tell that it might be an encyclopedia, so I don't need to worry about other. I do need to find the title of the encyclopedia, though. So we're going to have to look at, back at that reference at the top of the page to find that. And that's where I look at source. So you'll see right here it says Contemporary Literary Criticism Select, and it's in italics. If it's in italics, I know that it's actually the title of a large work. Remember our rule about how you underline the big stuff and you put quotes around the little stuff? We know if we underline it in handwriting, then we italicize it when we type it. Same rule applies here. This is in italics. That means if I hand wrote it, I'd underline it. That means it's a big work. So I want to make sure that I put that in as the title of my reference source. So my title of my encyclopedia here is Contemporary Literary Criticism Select. Now, as far as I know, this is not a well-known, widely used reference work, so I'm not going to worry about checking that. I don't actually have um, a volume shared with me, but I do have a publisher and a publication city and a year. So I'm going to find that information right now. I'm going to look back up there where the source is and where the full text copyright is and all that good stuff, right? And looking at that, I'm seeing that Detroit is the city that's listed right here. Gale is my publisher listed right here. And over here next to copyright it says 2008. So that's information I can plug right in. So that's what I'm going to do. It's published by Gale in Detroit in 2008. Now I'm going to scroll down. I don't have an addition and I don't have to do an annotation. So that means that I'm actually finished. I'm just going to click submit. It's going to think. Still thinking. There we go. And then I can scroll down and see. There's my new one in pink, right? John Ernst Steinbeck, Contemporary Literary Criticism Select, Detroit, Gale, 2008, and page. That means there's no page number listed. Literature Resource Center, Web 25. Web, that means I found this on the web. I don't have a I, it was found on the web, it was not created in print, it wasn't published in print. 25 October 2010, and there's my URL. So, I've got it. I hope that that was easy for you, it was easy for me. Um, have a great evening, y'all. Bye.